Hello everybody, this is David. In this video, I'm going to cover a Johnson counter in Verilog and then demonstrate it on the Basis 3 FPGA. Now, what a, a Johnson counter is, is a type of uh, shift counter. So it's like it's a shift register, but you have this inverted um, signal coming back from the highest order bit from the counter and getting flipped and fed back into the lowest order bit. Um, and then these are the taps for your counter right here. So this is the schematic for it. These are just 4D flip-flops using a 4-bit counter. And so this is the sequence that the counter will go through. We'll start it off at all zeros, and then it'll just start counting in this fashion here. This is the sequence. So the reason why you would want to use this is it, it uses a uh, little combinational logic to achieve un unlike a normal counter where you got to have all this other logic gates to make sure that it counts in a sequence you know in decimal sequence from 0 up to 15. Um, this is only for you only have eight states so if you're using a state machine that only needs eight states and you're trying to save on your on your circuitry and your logic keep keep the amount of gates involved down then you could use this kind of counter right here and just count on these states um, and but what you got to watch out for is you have unused states over here. So these are all the decimal numbers that could cover um, that are not in your sequence. And so you have to ensure that you put some code in there and then I'll show you some logic in there so that when these states ever happen, such as um, you get a glitch in your system or, or some kind of signal that, that flips one of your flip-flops, then you end up in a state, that you, an unknown state, and you won't be able to recover and count back to these states. It may not ever recover. So let me show you the code. Okay, here I am in Vivado. Uh, created a project for the Basis 3 target language Verilog. You can see the module hierarchy over here. And I'll go through each one. Here's the Johnson counter. So it just takes in a clock and a reset, just like the schematic we saw. And then it has the four bits of count, which are each of the D flip-flops. And so for reset, we want to set count back to zero. And then, so this all this code right here is to recover from if we have a glitch in our system and we ended up in one of these unknown states that's not part of our Johnson counter sequence, we can set the count back to zero and get back to our sequence. Um, so that's what this is right here, all this fault recovery for each of those unused values. And then otherwise, the operation is just here. So we'll take the, the three uh, lowest order bits and shift them over into the three highest order bits. And then count zero will become the knot of count three, the highest order bit, just like we saw in the schematic. So to demonstrate this on the FPGA, I created a one hertz generator so we can slowly see it counting through its sequence. Same one hertz generator like I've used before. We just have a register you toggle, a counter um, of 26 bits. Oops, I just messed that up. That can count up to this value here. And then when it gets to this value, we'll reset the counter and then we'll toggle this register here, tie that register into the output signal and that becomes our one hertz signal. And so the top module just ties the Johnson counter and the one hertz generator together using this uh, wire right here. Here's the uh, constraints file. I'm just bringing in the 100 megahertz clock um, using four LEDs for the count and then a button C for the reset. I went ahead and uh, programmed it and everything. So let me show you it working on the board. Okay, so here's the basis three set up with the Johnson counter. I'll go ahead and reset it to start it at zero. And you can see it's counting in the sequence that we know it will count due to the logic. So it starts at zero and then essentially you just see the bit shift over. And uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. There's a Johnson counter in Verilog on the basis three FPGA. Thanks for watching.